work to finish the I-540 project. A new Meredith College poll shows frontrunners Josh Stein and Mark Robinson have commanding leads as they seek their party's nominations in the race for governor. That poll also suggests Stein may have an edge in the general election in November. WRL's Eric Miller joins us live outside the governor's mansion to break this all down for us. Eric. Hey, Renee, that new poll digging into who the next resident is going to be at this house here on North Blunt Street. It was released in just the last two hours. It suggests if Stein and Robinson are indeed their party's nominees come November, Stein will actually have a slight edge with 39% of voters choosing him compared to 35% choosing Robinson. This poll also says both Stein and Robinson, as you said, they have commanding leads, double digit leads over their nearest competitors in this primary race with just two weeks to go until early primary voting starts here in North Carolina. But of course, this race isn't over. More than half of Democrats polled and more than 40 percent of Republicans said they're still undecided in the primary contest. Still, Meredith College professor of political science David McLennan says it will be an uphill battle for any candidates trying to catch those two front runners. We've seen some of the candidates. They're out on the trail. They're advertising. So, you know, we've not seen them make up any of that gap in three months now. So it's hard to imagine they will make it up in four weeks. Now, this poll also looked at a potential rematch between President Biden and former President Trump come November. A very different story there with former President Trump having the lead over President Biden, 44 percent to 39 percent and far fewer undecided voters in that contest, Renee. And nine months to go until the general election. Eric Miller, live outside the governor's mansion. U.S. forces launched new strikes against Iran-backed Houthi rebels.